In today's episode, we will take a look at five different dumbest hacker one reports, which actually had a crazy plot twist later in the video. Someone legit got banned from hacking on the program from how stupid the report was. And make sure to watch this video until the end because uh, I don't know, I don't know, just watch it, I guess. And if you want to become very good at hacking, then check out my course. Link is in the description. Live lessons, bug bounty collabs, real world examples, you really name it. Everything is on there. Now, let's go with the video. So. Today we actually have five different reports, but don't worry, I'll go quickly over them. So let's get started. The first one says, while changing the password, it should show that the password was changed successfully, and then it should log out instead of remaining on the same web page. The title of this report says, change password session fixed, which honestly, I'm not quite certain if this makes sense. And the steps to reproduce are quite funny. Log into your account, click on the rightmost top corner of the account, click to change the password, enter the old password, enter the new password. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is a great start to the video. What is the vulnerability? And the illegal robot staff comes here and says, thank, I think this was caused by an error handling problem on the screen. Okay, he was again nice. He wasn't like, uh, there, there's no issues here. Like, you're wasting our time. And says, hey, Dan. Uh, apparently, this is his name. I'm not even going to pronounce it here. I tried to report this bug to you, but misunderstood the password reset page one that's why reported this bug again with what is this? hope to receive my bounty this time <laughs> nope you're gonna get spammed buddy <laughs> wait, wait wait let me get let me get this right you opened the new account to resubmit a report that had been already closed as an a oh man making this report a spam and permanently banning you from our program bye again this program got this hacker got banned from this program but the last report also did that and it's curl so trust me it gets crazier the second one is absolutely ridiculous someone just says i am the bug and you can find this report in the description he says i am the bug and i am the bug i found a bug in your site and here it is and a picture of a bug. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> My friend are the greatest hackers. This and this told me you will give me money for my father. And apparently that's his father. <laughs> he got closed as spam. He got closed as spam. <laughs> what did he expect? I mean, I don't understand what's going on. There's so many silly of these. If you want me to make more of this, just like this video. And then we have the third one, which is honestly very sad in my opinion. But again, this person was not wake time payment gateway vulnerability is the title of this report. And here is the summary. Wake time's payment gateway does not encrypt data in transit, meaning that it probably uses like an HTTP instead of HTTPS, which is a vulnerability, which could allow an attacker to intercept the captured card information. The vulnerability could be exploited by a man in the middle attack, which the attacker would insert themselves between the user and the payment gateway, intercepting the data as it's being transmitted. Uh, there's a small, there's a small cache. It got closed first things first as not applicable not applicable this time you need you use your browser's network interception tab to see the request which allows viewing the content of an encrypted https request meaning that it's probably fine when you use your chrome developer tools you can see the requests even they're encrypted because your browser decrypts them for you but the attacker can't see that unless they have access to your machine which you know it's your kind of problem the request is still encrypted when being sent so nobody can view the request in transit and then he goes on a tangent to like, I understand that you believe that the data is still encrypted and it's being sad, but the browser network interception tab shows me that it's, uh, no, we got closed as spam and he got, could you kindly remove the spam tag of this report? No. Okay. I am a novice to the bug bounty. I mistakenly assume that this issue qualifies as a bug based on my training. However, I overlook the fact that the eligibility of the bug is in town. Oh, no, I, I kind of I kind of feel bad for him, you know. Hopefully, he will learn. Normal guy, 46. Hopefully, you will learn. The next one is absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, let's get it going. HTTP method enabled. Wow. <laughs> wow. We have a great start, ladies and gentlemen. High security team. It's possible to upload files to the server using the put method. I, I, I stuttered. I genuinely did. Steps to reproduce. I use the following request. Put 
Oh my god, no, 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 <laughs> it's not happening. Somebody thought that put request would be a vulnerable. No, absolutely not. Nope. Now the file exists. No, with no contents of the put request. Impact, impact, <laughs> impact is impact. And it got closed as spam. And here it is. I'm sorry, but this has had a fix for about six months. I, bear in mind that this is a, not a vulnerability. It's just generally a bug. You're using this person's demo as well, which displays your incompetence and greed as to wanting to farm reputation from a disclosed vulnerability. Closing a spam. Regards, George. I think George was a bit harsh, but, you know, George, do your job, George. And for the final, final report, we have memory leak in libc URL via location header handling CVE770. And the report goes like this. This reports details a memory leak vulnerability in the libc URL that occurs when processing HTTP 300, some like 302, 303 errors, redirect responses containing location header. Specifically, the memory allocated for the location header is not properly that a blah, 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 blah. And the best part about it is statement clarifying if an AI was used to find this issue or generate the report. This report was generated with the assistance of AI. <laughs> Chad GPT, the vulnerability was identified through combination of manual code analysis and AI assisted debugging and proof of concept generation. This seems so much, this, this already was smelling like AI. And let me break it down for you so you don't actually have to waste hours of your life trying to understand this. There is... This is binary exploitation, by the way, but there's no bug. There's nothing. There's no vulnerability. There's nothing. There's nothing. And Badger here, the CRL staff, uh, says that there's nothing here. And it says, so, the hacker's username, how exactly do you come to the conclusion that there is a leak? When well, You can pause and read this, but there is no leak. There's no memory leak. And, and this person didn't even actually respond. They just reported this and they were like, yeah, I'm done. I've done my job. Give me bounty, please, please. And then Badger gets pissed. Very pissed. Very pissed. <laughs> this report is 100% AI slop. A waste of our time. You used an AI against our strong recommendation. Even though the problem cannot be reproduced, you still decided to resubmit it here. This is a violation of our terms. Consider yourself a banned from the future interaction with our program. Badger, you did an amazing job. And... <laughs> He actually says, requested to disclose the report and says, educate the world. <laughs> and the best part about it is that this is literally all happened yesterday. Amazing. What an amazing episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.